my tongue does not want to work today it's good put it in the cart and if the brand is watching i am so sorry but girl what's up speaking of brushes did you get this yet Hey guys, okay, so Sephora sale is coming up and I am trying to film this and have it up before it comes because I'm kind of falling behind on my schedule, but I am crossing my fingers I can have this video up before the Sephora sale happens, like before the day of the sale, um, which is on, I know Rouge is early, which is I think starting on the 28th of October. I really don't wanna overwhelm you guys with all of my recommendations because girl when I say I can recommend the entire store <laughs> I literally have like hundreds of things from Sephora that I love that I can recommend to you guys but just so I won't overwhelm you guys in this video I'm gonna just talk about the specifics like the stuff that I have used over and over and over um, things I've repurchased over and over and over and also some new favorites so that way you can you know check them out put them in your cart and get them during the Sephora sale. So I have some categories I have makeup I have um skincare body care and hair care so uh I guess we can just start out with hair because it's not really much that I have in front of me that's like for hair but um if you are looking for a good hair oil and I try to narrow all of these down y'all like I try my best to narrow down every single one of these products um but hair oils bread and jizu gaizu jizu however you say it but bread hair oil they now have a little dropper for the hair oils if you have been wanting to try out their hair oil I highly highly recommend trying them out um I like this hair oil because I can use it with my natural hair and my wigs because it's not too heavy it doesn't weigh it down um and it also isn't too greasy on the hair so this has a really sweet scent it smells really good it almost smells like candy to me um but i love it you guys if you've been watching me for a while you know i have been through several of these the one the original size ones now they have the small one with the dropper but Yes, if you can get your hands on this, I would highly, rec uh, highly recommend get in. Y'all, my, my tongue does not want to work today. Anyway, um, gizu, gaizu, jizu, however you say it. But the honey infused hair oil, this is another one of my favorites. Another hair oil that I have gone through several of. Um, this is kind of similar to the one from Bread. Uh, the only difference I would say with the... Um, Gaizu Jizu, please let me know how to pronounce this freaking brand. <laughs> and if the brand is watching, I am so sorry, but girl, what's up? Anyway, it's a honey infused hair oil. And this one I would say is a little thinner than the one from Bread. So Bread, even though they're not like super thick, they don't feel thick, they don't feel too greasy on the hair, but the Jizu Gaizu hair oil is a little thinner and it has a honey scent to it, which is really nice. They also have a hair perfume. I wish I grabbed that, but the hair perfume is really nice. And I see that they have a new one. Um, it has like a little purple top on it. I haven't smelled it, so I don't know how it smells, but I like the hair perfume. I feel like the hair perfume smells better than the hair oil. I don't know. And I almost kind of wish that they had like an actual perfume that you should that you spray on your body because I really like the scent of it. But anyway, yes, these two are the hair oils that I highly recommend if you are looking for a lightweight hair oil. Um, speaking of hair oils, let's talk about a couple of serums that I love that I repurchase over and over and over again. The Way Scalp Serum, this is, um, this has become a favorite of mine for the year. This is very watery and I like using this with my braids whenever I have braids and I also like using it on my natural hair. So if you're looking for a um, lightweight serum that you can use every single day without having it weigh your hair down, this one I highly recommend and this one from Sunday to Sunday. You guys know I love, love, love this. It, whoop this edge serum so it's the um edge flourish daily nourishing serum and it's infused with biotin so this is also a serum that i like to use when i have braids or when i don't have braids and this is what i can use every single day if i want to because it doesn't weigh the hair down it's not greasy and i just really like it so these two highly recommend hair dryers okay 
y'all know this stuff is real pricey like it is expensive but this is the time to get it i kid you not like if you have been wanting a good expensive hair dryer now is the time to get it well whenever the sale happens because it's not happening right now but y'all know what i'm talking about anyway um this one from dyson this is the dyson hair dryer i don't know but every year they come out with an entire set where you get the hair dryer the attachments and um the the carrying case this year they came out with a blue one it's like a really pretty navy blue which i kind of want but i don't need it because i already have this one but um it's navy blue and gold and it looks so 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 good i want it i really do pink is my favorite color but i like how that blue one looks but anyway this very powerful and when i say powerful i mean powerful so you do have um options to get different type of attachments i just have this one this is the one that this came with um but they have like a comb and i actually have a comb that goes with this the comb one they have um one that you can diffuse your hair with so many different options that you can choose from but if you're looking for a really good powerful hair dryer i would say get the one um this one from dyson and like i said every year they come out with like the whole set the set is definitely worth it when the sale happens so get it if you can they always sell out especially when they have the pink one always sold out of this but if you can get your hands on a Dyson hair dryer, if you've been wanting a Dyson hair dryer, now is the time to get one, like for real, for real, because these things are expensive. And then the other one that I have to talk about is this one from Dry Bar. Now this, I know some of you are gonna ask me which one is better. I like them both equally. Like I like this one when I want to blow, to blow dry my hair and like, less than two minutes but also straighten it at the same time this one is good if i just have that extra time to blow dry my hair i mean it does blow dry very fast but i have to use a comb or a brush with this if i'm blow drying my like what i'm trying to say i feel like i do a little bit more work when i'm using the dyson than i am this one because this is like a two-in-one you have your brush connected to it i mean it's a br uh, a regular um hairbrush and it also dries your hair at the same time so great on wigs great on natural hair it's just a great um hair dryer all around so i um it just all depends on how um i don't know i guess it's totally up to you which one you think would work best for you but i'd say if you're wanting a hair dryer um that you can get like if you're wanting something that you need done in like an instant this right here especially if you're needing to blow dry and straighten your hair at the same time this one right here but the dyson is really really good too so those are just two that i love that i always use on um, my natural hair and also my wigs whenever i um wash my wigs so that's actually all like the hair products i have more that i can recommend you guys know i am a hard 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 what am i trying to say hang it I was trying not to edit this video and here I am getting tongue tied and, and, and losing my thought. So what am I trying to say? The um, Briogeo, Briogeo, that's what I'm trying to say. Briogeo avocado hair mask. Y'all know I love that stuff. I talk about that stuff all the time. Every time Sephora, is at the, every time Sephora has their sale, I recommend it to you guys. Um, so that's a really good hair mask that um, I definitely recommend and um, a lot of their hair products I like like I haven't come across any um, Briogeo hair products that I didn't like so their shampoo is really good and they have different uh, types of shampoos conditioners but highly recommend the hair mask girl if you have never invested in a hair mask get one now is the time to get one during the Sephora sale um, and then what else okay if i don't mention it i'm gonna this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have all of my other recommendations that i don't mention in this video down in the description as well i have like a separate little column for it so like extra recommendations that i didn't mention or show in this video so check that out um so you guys can you know you'll know what else i have to recommend but now let's talk about some skin and body care 
product. So I try my best to not grab another bag full of stuff. So which I just limit myself to this one bag full of all of my absolute favorite products. So let's talk about body wash. So if you like to soak in the tub, or even if you don't like to soak in the tub, even if you just like to um, take a shower or whatever, Mod Body Wash, they have several scents. This one is unscented and this is the one I like to use when I'm on my period. So say if you, um, you know, just want to soak in a tub and you don't want something that has a fragrance in it, this is really good to use. Very gentle, it's, pre, uh, it's pH balanced and I love it. They have a new scent that's actually in my cart right now. So um, it's the number three, no number, it's number three or four. So they go by numbers. This one is number zero. And it's unscented one so highly recommend this wash if you want to use it as a bubble bath or just an all-over body wash it foams up really 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 good and i absolutely love 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 this and then another body wash that i want to recommend which is one that i just not too long ago got done talking to you guys about um it's the tatcha hunuka body wash this stuff right here is very 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 good if you like a um a gentle exfoliating body wash and i will say i know i say this every time i talk about this but if you've never heard me talk about this let me just say if you've tried the necessary exfoliating um the exfoliator if you tried that that's what this it's not actually the same but it's kind of like it so it has the small exfoliating beads in it and it foams up like a body wash and it smells very earthy and clean and it just makes the bathroom feel like a spa the way it smells and all of that but i love it obviously you guys can see that i am going through this stuff and um yeah and they have other body care products that they um that they recently came out with which is a body oil they have a body lotion and now that I, now that I think about it, I've already did a like a favorites hygiene video with you guys. So if you missed it, I will um, try to remember to have it in the description for you. But I mentioned a few of my current favorite. Well, at that time, my current favorite hygiene products um, in that video. And that was definitely one of them. So, OK, those are actually the only two body washes that I want to recommend because um like i said i don't want to really overwhelm you guys but there are several body washes on sephora that i really like 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 i said the one from necessary is really good um they have um now that i think about it i've been using a lot more drugstore body washes lately but remember i said i'll have a list like a separate list in the description of this video of all of my other recommendations that i just can't think of right now um okay and then oh this saint jane luxury body serum i don't really hear anyone talk about this but if you're looking for a really nice luxury body serum that's gonna just give your skin that shine make your skin feel smooth and it has i think it has cbd in it so it kind of has that earthy minty menthol type of scent it's not strong though and it doesn't really linger on the skin so as soon as you put it on i mean obviously you'll smell it but if you like to mix you know if you want to mix it in with your body butters or something like that it's not going to really take away from them because the scent is not that strong but it's a really nice scent this is a, uh, a body serum that i prefer using at night because it relaxes me and i like how it and i like how it smells so yeah the luxury um saint jane body serum is so good and i like i said i haven't really heard anyone talk about it and just so you guys can see how this looks once you pump it out so it comes out like an oil so it's right there and you just rub it in the skin mm, i love this scent i feel like i didn't give you guys a good description of the scent like it's more of a like a citrusy earthy type of scent yeah but anyway this one from saint jane highly recommend they have a lip gloss from saint jane that i love i didn't put it in my um makeup box right here but the saint jane lip gloss if y'all can see like if it's in stock get it it's their new um luxury lip uh shine gloss 
it's only I think it's the only gloss that they have on Sephora from St. Jane. But anyway, it's really good. Check it out if you see it in stock. Now we're down to skincare. I only have just a few products that um, I rec um, that I want to recommend. So the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Extra Strength Daily Pills. You guys know I love these. Love, love, love and swear by them. I'm running low already. Like I have like three more of these. I go through these like water, y'all. I use them every night. That's why. But this helps to, um, it helps with texture or just unevenness all around. Um, this helps tremendously, but you have to use it. Like you have to be consistent. That's with all skincare. You have to be consistent to see any results. Um, but it definitely has helped my skin a lot. And so these are really good. They are pretty expensive, but now you need to get it because of the sale. I'm telling you, get the stuff that is worth getting. Like, um, Things that you don't really want to spend full price on, get it now. Like, get it when the sale hits because, you know, you'll save a few coins when you do that. Okay, so Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Mask. If this is in stock, because <laughs> this stuff be flying off the shelf. I don't know if it's just because it's Fenty Skin. I don't know, but every time I go in Sephora, they don't have any on the shelf. So when you put it on your face, you don't just put it on, like usually I would go, um, I would use like a mask tool, like one of those little masks, uh, a brush to apply my um, face mask. But I use my fingers with this because you have to actually rub it in. Like there's like little beads in it that dissolve. So you have to rub it in until the beads dissolve and then it turns like this um, dark gray color and then you just let it sit on your face for about 10 15 minutes and then um, take it off but it's different because at first when I used it I, I applied it with my brush and then I was like why is this hyped up and then I read the instructions girl feeding it feeding reading is fundamental so go in with I guess you can go in with a brush but I go in with my fingers to rub it in so that way the beads can dissolve and then you let it sit on your face and i don't use it every day i use it maybe three times a week if that um because i don't like to use a detox mask too much because i feel like it'll be too much for me on my skin um but i love it this one and um there's another detox mask but it's not at sephora it's the teamy one that i used to rave about all the time i'd say those are my two favorites like this one and teamy are my two favorite detox masks now i do have another mask though that i would recommend to you guys it's the tatcha violet tatcha violet c radiance mask if you want a more radiant glowing looking skin if your skin if you like if you want your skin to look super 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 good get this when i feel like my skin just looks too dull or it just needs that extra boost I use this a few not um, a few times a week so this one and this one are my two favorite like face masks um, that you can get from Sephora and then okay sunscreen the belief true cream aqua bomb sunscreen is my absolute favorite at the moment like girl I keep buying this stuff this one is almost empty i need to get another one which will be my third one of this so i highly recommend this if you are wanting a sunscreen that's going to for one not give you a white cast um it just makes my skin look super healthy it rubs in well it absorbs really good and it also wears great under makeup so wearing this by itself or with makeup is good and this is actually what i have on today because i ran out of my primer that has sunscreen in it which is in my um makeup box over here which i'll show y'all in a minute but other than that this has been the sunscreen that i've been using non-stop like i haven't really been touching any other sunscreens because i keep falling back um to this one they have one from there's another one that i actually want to put in my cart because i used to use it all the time i see that it's in a set now um it's the peter thomas roth sunscreen it comes with um it looked like it came with like a face cream and a serum, but it's in like a holiday set and I want to get it. That's actually on my wish list. So hopefully I can get my hands on that because I think I want to get that before I go buying another one of these because I like that sunscreen from T Peter Thomas Raw. So I'd say those are my two favorite ones from Sephora, Peter Thomas and then the one from 
believe. Um, and then we have, oh my gosh, I could have recommended like so many other skincare products, but like I said, I did not want to overwhelm you guys. But the last few things I have in my little bag, um, our eye creams. This is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Brighten Eye Cream. This stuff is what I'm using right now. And then I have the Cora Berry Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream, which is what I emptied. So I just still keep this because you can actually pop out the um the little um insert and just purchase the insert by itself and put it back into the little um, container. But this is the one I'm currently using and I absolutely love it. And I think I shared this in a um, favors video with you guys not too long ago. But yeah, if you're looking for a good eye cream, these two are really, really good. So also, if you're wanting an eye cream that has a pump, Glow Recipe has a pump. So this is just it's just so cute and so easy to use. I love it. Um, so that is all the skincare that I have in front of me. But like I said, anything else that um, come to mind, I will have it in the little, um, the separate list in the description under like other recommendations like that. Let's talk about some makeup and then we will be done. I was trying not to have this video too long, but now I feel like this video is like super duper long. Anyway, makeup. Okay, let me just show this since I was talking about this a minute ago. This is a sunscreen that y'all look. <laughs> look girl we are done we are scraping this stuff is bomb this is a primer but it has sunscreen in it so and I don't even have primer on today I just have on um a face serum and then the belief aqua bomb sunscreen I did not feel like putting on a primer I was like girl I'm not going anywhere as long as I have my sunscreen on I am good and honestly I like how the face is looking without primer today so anyway if you're looking for a primer that has sunscreen in it that does not give you a white cast like you can literally wear this by itself I've worn this by itself without makeup and I like it just looks so good on the skin it looks like you have on a nice um hydrating moisturizer but yeah this is the broad spectrum spf 50 sunscreen oh by the way the belief has spf 50 as well um but yes this is really really good highly recommend and i like how you open it up you just press it like that and it opens up but i mean y'all can obviously see that i love this stuff and i will be repurchasing this um during the sephora sale so okay i'm not going i'm not going in any order i'm just going to reach in here and talk about each product setting powder let me just pull out all the setting powders that i have oh wow i didn't even put that in here i was gonna also talk about the sephora micro smooth but that's also one of my favorites okay but the ones that i'm using right now that i keep using every time i do my makeup is the laura mercier setting powder this is the new one this one is talk free um and it's the translucent setting powder so this is i just reached for the uh, i just reached for this all the time when I'm doing my makeup. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is what I use when I'm done with my entire face. I just use this as a finishing powder right in this area. And it just makes it look so smooth and good. And then we have a couple of bronzers that I wanna talk about that I know is not gonna come as a surprise to you guys cause y'all always hear me talk about it. The NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is a new shade though, cause um, they came out with deeper shades. This is shade number five. Well, Laguna five and this is how it looks right here this is the one i have on today i actually have this one on with um i have this around the perimeter of my face to warm it up and then i have on the rose ink y'all i love this bronzer this is very similar to the makeup by mario which i'm so surprised i didn't pull out to show um to show you but the makeup by mario bronzer is another one that i would recommend but this is very similar to it so if you haven't tried anything from rose ink i highly recommend getting their cream bronzer this is in the shade Cap uh, capri and this is the color that i have on as my um nose contour today so this bronzer is very sheer so if you're looking for a really pigmented bronzer i would say go for the one from nars or anastasia beverly hills cream bronzer um beauty blender has a bronzer they just came out with um a cream bronzer this year that i also that i also really like but right now these are the two that i feel like i use the most when i'm doing my makeup and i absolutely love them now i do have a new favorite though a new favorite bronzer um from house labs this is the power sculpt velvet bronzer and this is in the shade deep level 11. this is a very gorgeous 
bronzer you guys i remember sharing this in a video with you i did a um i think it was a one hour get ready with me and i compared this one um to well i didn't compare it i tried it out on one side of my face and then i tried out the um color pop bronzer on the other side and i ended up liking this one more but it's crazy because i like the colors uh the color pop swatch better than i did this one but this one just looks so so pretty on the face girl it just ugh, it's everything so this is a powder but it's so weird like it goes on like it's a velvety powder like it's not too powdery or anything like it's like really smooth and creamy and i love it so yeah those are the three bronzers i recommend um hold on my camera is getting hot girl these sony cameras <laughs> don't recommend hold on i'll be back all right girl so i'm back i touched up my lips with my favorite gloss from sephora this is the glossed in the shade fly so this is a um bronzy type of gloss like it has a little shimmer in it so if you're not into shimmer you might not like this but honestly it doesn't look really shit like it just looks really pretty and glossy on the lips love this color i wear it all the time this is one that i like to throw in my purse um and i just love the shine i love how they're not sticky and they just feel like butter on the lips so if you're wanting like a good affordable gloss from sephora sephora collection has a lot of um good glosses but this is definitely one of my favorite ones that i would highly recommend and since we're talking about lip products um let's talk about a couple of lip liners that i feel like i keep talking about the um charlotte tilbury foxy brown that's the color it's called foxy brown this is one of my favorite browns from um charlotte tilbury i think she has a couple more but this one is like the best it's like a really pretty creamy soft brown it's not too dark it's it's just perfect i love it this is like um that type of color that i wear when i don't want a bold lip like something really soft and natural so this is what i always reach for when i'm wanting something like that and then the buxom this is a new favorite of mine for the year this is the buxom power line plumping lip liner in the shade creamy chocolate this is actually what i have on today it's so pretty so let me show you the, the color the color yes so pretty and this comes with a brush too so if you want to, you know, brush it out, you can use the little brush that it comes with, like the little brush right there. But those are the only two lip liners I wanted to share. I have so many other ones that I can recommend. Sephora Collection has one of the best brown liners. It's called Molasses. But I can, like, it is endless when it comes down to lip products. So like I said, I tried to narrow this down. Um, let's talk about um, lashes. Well, not false lashes. Let's talk about mascara item beauty mascara if you have not tried this yet and i know i have told y'all about this so many times so if you haven't tried it yet why <laughs> put it in your cart right now this one is perfect if you have tiny lashes like i have the most smallest lashes they are so tiny they're almost non-existent and this is like the perfect mascara the one on it is perfection it's small but when I say your lashes look so pretty with this, it's good. Put it in the cart. And then the other mascara, which has become a new favorite of mine, is um, this one from Kaja. So this is a trio. It comes with a clear one. But these are the two that I've been using. It's the volumizing one and the lengthening one. And I like that it snaps. To, well, it's magnetic. You can just put it together and like throw it in your purse and stuff. But really good and um i like this concept so if you have long lashes thick lashes thin lashes i think this is great like this is literally great for all types of lashes so highly recommend this mascara from kaja um and then i have some eyeshadow which y'all know i don't really wear eyeshadow like i used to but if you're looking for a small eyeshadow palette if you're like me and you don't want to get too overwhelmed with eyeshadow you want something small something you don't really have to overthink when it comes down to like what type of look you want to do i'd say get the ones from the sephora collection if they're still available i know they've been um on sale throughout the year because they had them like on sale for labor day memorial day I haven't checked i should have checked before sitting here filming this video but if they are online i'm pretty sure it's going to be on sale again and usually sephora has like that 
30% off um, during the Sephora recommendations, um, the Sephora savings event. So if you can find the I Loves palette in the shade um, Deep Warm, get it. This is what it looks like. Really pretty and I love it. And then another palette that I would recommend is the Natasha Denona. If you've been wanting to try her eyeshadow palettes, I'd say start, um, start out small, especially if you don't, like I said, if you don't wanna get overwhelmed with eyeshadow colors, I'd say start small and try this one right here. If you're into those um, everyday neutral warm tone colors. And this one is called the um, Mini Bronze Palette. She's so cute. She's just so, so, so cute. Now, other complexion products that I recommend is the Vanessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Foundation. This is a great full coverage foundation that gives you a skin, like natural skin finish, like that mm, yummy skin finish. That's why they call it Yummy Skin Girl. But such a good foundation. It's such a, oh, it just, ugh, the longevity of it, it just looks so good all day long on the skin and that's why I wanted to recommend it because this is just this is my favorite foundation of the year right now like I kid you not I still <laughs> I still gotta try the house labs foundation I am so late on that that's why I was saying um telling y'all earlier I'm kind of behind on my schedule but I definitely want to try the house labs foundation and I know it probably like that video ain't gonna be up by the time the recommend I don't know I don't want to say that I don't know let me try to let me try to get it up before the Sephora sale, so y'all will know whether or not you should get it. Mm, let me try to get it up, but anyway, Yummy Skin Foundation. This is so good, and I use the shade 18G. And then the Fenty Skin Ease Drop All Over Glow, yeah, All Over Glow Enhancer. So this, I feel like, is kind of sort of a necessity in your makeup collection because you can mix it in with your favorite foundations, your favorite skin tints, um or wear it by itself i mean i've worn it by itself before but if you wear it by itself don't use too much of it because it is pretty glowy but this is so pretty mixed in with the foundations that i've worn with it i've mixed it in with the Danessa myricks i've mixed it in with um the zara skin tint that i did a review on i've mixed it in with this uh the chanel water tint um but it's so good it's so pretty and i love the finish of it but yeah this is in the shade number four bronze jasper and she is so freaking pretty all right this next product is for those of you who like your glowy complexions and this is the natasha denona hygiene skin glass energizing and hydrating primer serum that is a lot to say <laughs> but this girl 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 this stuff right here is so so nice on the skin so the way i use this is putting it on first and then topping it off with my foundation so if you feel like you um i don't know if you're using like a matte foundation and you feel like the foundation is too matte go in with this before going in with your foundation in it i don't know it just this just does something to the skin like it gives it that glass finish and i love it so i mean it's not for everybody i know a lot of people don't like that glowy look to the skin but this is so freaking pretty it's so pretty on the skin this is how it looks up close but and then i'll show it so y'all can see the product so it's like a glowy pearlescent type of product really pretty and just so y'all can see it on the skin as well rub it in look girl just look look at that it's so freaking pretty i love it so this is something i would use with the belief sunscreen if i'm not using the um charlotte tilbury because i mean it is a primer this right here it's a primer but charlotte tilbury is a primer and a sunscreen so if i'm just using this i just make sure to use the belief since the, the belief isn't a primer but yeah highly recommend that and then the last like complexion product i have to recommend even though i have like so many others that i could recommend to you guys um is the tatcha luminous dewy skin mist y'all know i use this all the time every time i'm doing my makeup this is the very 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 last step so this is gonna give it just brings my skin back to life or just like i don't know 
after putting on all the powders I just feel like the skin looks too flat and too matte and just blah so I just put this on and this just makes the skin look like legit skin after spraying it on the face and this is what I have on today like it doesn't like my skin doesn't look matte at all um, so yeah love 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 that and then um, Sephora Collection blush did I didn't even bring that down here but the Sephora Collection matte blush in the shade Hey Jealousy one of my favorite blushes definitely get your hands on it because like I said I know Sephora is gonna have like their 30% off sale during the sale so highly recommend and then okay the last wait oh NARS concealer totally forgot to mention this this is the NARS soft matte concealer in Amand this is a great concealer to use if you want to like clean up under your brows it's great to use under the eyes it's just a full coverage concealer though um this is also good to use if you just want to use it as a spot concealer and then go on top of it um go on top of it with a powder if you don't want really want to wear foundation but i like this concealer highly recommend that and then the last thing i have to recommend are um makeup brushes so every year sephora has these like little holiday sets and i think I don't know if the ones that they have out now are the ones that they're going to have out for the rest of the year, but I don't like them. I mean, the brushes are good. The quality is like top tier, but I don't like the colors aren't exciting to me. Like last year, they had a really cute pink and gold set. The year before that, they had a really cute gold set that had like clear. Uh, well, it was clear. The handles were clear and then you had like gold glitter in it it was just really cute i don't know but i'm not really in love with the sets that they have this year unless they're going to come out with more i don't know but if they do i highly recommend getting a brush set because you literally get all the brushes in one plus you get that discount during the sale so definitely get the brush sets if you you know if you see one on there that you like but speaking of brushes did you get this yet did you get this brush yet this is the sephora collection number 50. i keep telling you to get the brush if you haven't gotten it why <laughs> the best 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 powder brush i use this for bronzer um setting powder like this is i, I mean obviously i've just been using it for my bronzer my, well the the powder bronzer not the the cream bronzer but this is the perfect 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 brush these don't shed they are just sephora has the best brushes y'all the best brushes and i use a small one for blush so they have hopefully the set is still available but the set comes with these two and they are literally the same brush this one is just smaller this is the 50.5 and then this one is a 50 so it comes in a set of two if you can't find the set just look for the number 50 on sephora hopefully they still have it um but this is the best best brush get it put it in your cart right now and then the last brush i want to share with you guys is um the new fenty bronzer brush it's the fenty bronzer 190 and i got this because it was limited edition but I see that they still have it online like I got it because I thought they weren't gonna bring it back like I thought at that time they only had a certain amount so that's why they had it like limited edition at the time and so that's why I went ahead and jumped on it because I love the gold I mean it's just like the original bronzer brush that Fenty Beauty has but I like that this one is gold so if this one is still available I'd say get this one instead of the original one because it's cuter. It's way cuter. But anyway, girl, that is all that I have for now um, to talk about. Remember the list that, well, the extra list that I will have in the description under all of the products that I just mentioned. But that is it, girl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know um, what's in your cart. <laughs> what is in your Sephora cart and what are you interested in trying out from what I shared in today's video but yeah that is it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I shared my current Sephora recommendations if you guys enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next one bye